Hi all, welcome to my channel BK Roll TV. Today we will be taking a look at the Star Trek Delta Flyer from Eagle Moss. <music> So today we have here is the Star Trek Delta Flyer uh, from the Star Trek collection by Eagle Moss. I, I got this over from Amazon. Uh, I, technically it's uh, from Real Real Merch, I believe. Uh, UK based, similar to Master Replica, but uh, they were selling it through Amazon, so I got it from Amazon. Uh, their shipping is a lot cheaper than Master Replica, so uh, since I live in Japan, uh, the shipping for Master Replica tends to <coughs> cost more, so, uh, but anyways, uh, enough of that. I uh, will be taking a look at the model here, the Delta Flyer, so let's open it up. Uh, the box was sealed. I did remove the seal already, so, uh, <coughs> but just to let you know, it's brand new, uh, it's not used or anything, so anyways. Here we have the booklet, so we'll be taking a look at that first, and then we will open up the uh, model. So let's set the model aside, and then take a look at the book. So here we have the booklet. Uh, as you can see, it's the Delta Flyer uh, Type Shuttle. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit so you can see. Uh, type Shuttle, uh, launched uh, 2275. As you can see there, uh, length 21 meters, and tetraburnium alloy hull. Uh, so this is the uh, XL model uh, of the Delta Flyer. So just 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 to let you know. Uh, so here we have like the content, uh, and then here uh, as you can see we have the uh, Delta Flyer. And they talk about the uh, how it was. Uh, Inspired by uh, with the Borg technology, combining with Starfleet, uh, uh, more of that uh, information in here. And then, you, as you can see, we have the concept uh, art of how the uh, how they were planning on designing the Delta Flyer. And then, uh, as you can see, they are also seeing what kind of uh, uh, all the details on the uh, outer hull. Uh, they were planning to put on the on the Delta Flyer as well, and then uh, one one thing to note: uh, I believe we saw the Delta Flyer in the uh, in one of the episodes inside the shuttle bay. But that's actually uh, you can it's easy to see it if you see the episode. It's actually uh, <coughs> more CGI. Uh, in this case, they mentioned that it was more of a uh, map. Painting actually than uh, than a physical uh, model that they built. I believe uh, they mentioned here that previously the shuttles and runabouts were actual physical build uh, on on an actual set, but uh, all the exterior for the Delta Flyer was actually just the uh, CGI or uh, a painting, <coughs> essentially. Uh, one, one cool thing as you can see here. Uh, is that the, I'm not sure if we saw it in the episode or not, but the uh, nacelles are uh, kind of uh, retractable, I guess, uh, extendable and retractable. I don't know if we ever saw that in the episode. I don't remember it uh, anymore, but uh, yeah, that's, uh, it's, it's interesting. And overall, you can see the uh, top, the side, uh, art of the Delta Flyer here, as well as the uh, actual uh, <coughs> uh, colored in uh, version here, the CGI version, I suppose. And then uh, over here, it, it talks about the Aero Shuttle. Uh, I did make a video of this in the unboxing video, it's already on my channel. So if you want to take a look, I'll link that uh, here now but anyways uh, it goes over the uh, aero shuttle uh, but it was never actually included in any of the uh, voyager episodes so it, which is unfortunate i think uh, it would have been pretty popular to to see that but uh, i suppose due to costs probably just uh, couldn't add it and then here uh just they also talk, mentioned about the uh emergency escape pod for the voyager uh uh, it did look a little bit big, in, 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 in my thought anyways, but uh, 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 it was uh, still interesting to see, at least. 
but anyways, yeah, that's uh, about it for the book. Uh, just a brief uh, overview of how the uh, what's in included in the book. So, anyways, uh, let's take a look at the model now. So we will open up the model uh, here. So let's zoom out just a little bit. There you go. So as you can see, uh, we have the model. Uh, it's a pretty pretty decent sized uh, model of the Velcro Fire uh, right here. I'll set that down. Then we have the, uh, the usual base and the stand for it. So we'll take a closer look. So uh, for the stand, as you can see, Delta Flyer uh, number 3684-A slash A. Then obviously yeah, we have the uh, stand. So I suppose, uh, I suppose it just just goes goes in goes in like that. Uh, goes in just like that. Uh, I guess. I'm thinking, but uh, anyways, uh, so here, uh, as you can see, it's a little bit, uh, zoom out just a little bit. So, you see. so as you can see, I uh, got all the uh, insignias uh, on the side. It says Delta Flyer from the USS Voyager, uh, 74656 uh, registry in front. As you can see the uh, detailing. Uh, I do like the... Uh, detailing, although the uh, maybe the paint, like the green paint, is a little bit off uh, in terms of the, the painting a little bit, but uh, overall, I it is uh, sturdy. I believe the top is all metal, and then the uh, bottom here, bottom metal piece here is uh, all plastic. So it, is, it has a little bit of a uh, weight to this. Overall, uh, I didn't think it was going to be this big. Uh, but obviously it's an XL version, so uh, I do like the uh, definitely like the size of the uh, Delta Flyer, and then as well as just the uh, overall uh, colors of the paint, uh, and pretty much uh, uh, is matching. Uh, I would say uh, some of the uh, touch-up paint maybe slightly off, so it's a little bit uh, uh, probably don't like that a little too much, but not to nitpick too much about it. Uh, but overall, uh, uh, the quality is good uh, compared to, I think, uh, I've seen some of the videos on some of the models where the windows are off, but uh, on this one, uh, uh, only only the little green Borg areas are off. But other than that, I don't see any other uh, issues with it. You can see some uh, uh, weathering uh, effects on the bottom panels uh, here as well. Uh, this, uh, this is obviously the... Uh, the uh, hatch for the on, on the back and then yeah overall uh, I do like the uh, Delta Flyer it's one of those uh, uh, unique uh, um, design shuttles uh, I think then your regular Starfleet uh, uh, sh type shuttles so uh, definitely uh, like the design like the uh, the weight uh, of it, like I said, this uh, uh, the top is all metal, so it's uh, pretty sturdy as well. Uh, just don't know if uh, how well the uh, stand will be able to hold it uh, since it only holds on the back. So I'll just need to see whether it has any problems in the future. But yeah, let me down. Uh, let me know in the comments below uh, what do you think of the. A model, uh, if you have the model uh, previously from Eagle Moss already, or uh, if you don't. And uh, look forward to uh, more videos on the XL models as well. Uh, I'll be, I still have a lot of the XL models to uh, unbox and review, so we'll be uh, taking that uh, one at a time. But, anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.